Hey guys, Kevin with Mix Coach. What I'm going to show you today is how I would go about doing a shootout or a press conference kind of approach with picking out the right mic for the right vocalist. What I have here is uh, Studio Projects uh, T3 here, and this is a uh, Audio Technica 4060. They're both really good sounding tube mics. But uh, sometimes you want to make sure that, uh, sometimes you have time to actually uh, go and pick out the perfect mic for a vocalist. Now there's a couple of ways to do it. One thing you can do is just get the vocalist, if they're committed to it and they're, they're on board with it, and they don't mind taking the extra time, then you can let them sing into this mic, change the mic pre, and then let them sing into this mic, and then, uh, and then you both sit down and listen to them. In my uh, situation, most of the time, I don't have time to do that. It needs to be like, you sing through it once and you've got the mic picked out and everything. In that situation, here's what I would do. If you have uh, matching preamps, it's always better. I've got a set of Personas uh, Digimax, and what I'll do is I'll put this through one channel of the Digimax and this into the other, and then I'll get them, I'll adjust them as if it were a stereo mic and get their level right. But here's one thing you want to do before you go. Uh, put, put the mics as close together as you can. If you notice, I've got one coming down and one going up. And I do this because these uh, shock mounts will tend to get in the way and they'll put the mics too far away. And then what you've got is a singer that's off axis from one microphone but on axis from another one. So if they're on, on axis for the mic, that's probably the one you're going to pick, but you're, not, you're still not sure you're picking the right one. So I've got one flipped upside down and one right side up because I want the elements for the microphones to be on the same exact plane. Okay, now the next thing I would do is I would take this windscreen and I would use one common windscreen between them because you don't want the singer to feel like they're singing in two different microphones. So I've got the windscreen right here in the, in the middle. And so that if they line up on this windscreen, you know that their mouth is equally distant from this mic to this mic. Okay? So then the next thing you want to do is just get them to sing. Make them, you know, use some of the techniques that we tell you to, to make them put them at ease and, and just tell them, you know, things like, you know, this is just for me. I'm just checking to see which microphone. You're kind of warming them up as they go, and you're relaxing them and stuff. But all the while, always record these microphones when you're doing a, a shootout. You always want to record these microphones from the very beginning. Even if the levels are not matched up, you don't want to waste too many takes on a vocalist because they'll be patient with you to begin with, but a vocalist wants to sing. So, okay, so situation one is you do them one at a time. If you don't have that, use two mics or three, or whatever you can put. I've had as many as four mics on a shootout before, and I would just uh, alternate them. I've even had a 57 stuck in here somewhere where I would put a 57 you know, right in here somewhere and then let them sing right in the middle of all of them, and then choose. You might be surprised at which mic would sound best between a 57 and some of these uh, killer tube mics. But um, anyway, so now what you want to do is you just want to make sure that when you go into your workstation, that the levels of the microphones are the same. So try to make sure that when you uh, mute, when you AB the microphones, that the level is the same because you don't want to deceive your ears into thinking that the loudest mic is the better. Because if you've got a mic that's louder, more than likely to the trained ear and to the untrained ear, you're going to pick the loudest mic. So you, you want to try to head that off as much as you can. So uh, then after you get that one pass, I would record both mics in one pass. So and make sure you label them because if you <laughs> if you get confused and don't know which mic is which then you're really in worse shape than you were because you know there's a good sounding mic but you didn't you didn't pick it so anyway record these both in one pass and then get everyone to come in once you've got a section that's long enough a loud section a soft section once you've got a section that's long enough to, for you to make a good call get everybody that has a, a skin in the game to come in the control room and uh, see which mic it is and what I would do is I would mute the two mics and then I would let them hear one, and then I would let them know when you click the other mic. And I would say A and B. I wouldn't tell them which mic is which, because if there's a, and this is from experience speaking, if there's a $15,000 tube mic and a $500 tube mic, then not that that's what these prices are, but if you've got one, you're going to want the expensive mic to win, unless the cheap tube mic is yours. Anyway, uh, so don't tell people which microphone it is, but you know which one it is, and switch between them. And make sure that it's the right mic for the, you know, for the vocalist. But anyway, that's how I do my shootouts when I get a chance to do them. And if you're set up like this and you're set up to be efficient, uh, nobody's going to mind you doing a shootout and choosing between mics. Let's say you've got a new mic or you, you know, you just bought a mic or you're thinking about buying a mic, definitely shoot it out with what you've got because 
Uh, I was using a very expensive mic the other day and thought it sounded really good. And then I put this mic up against it, and the producer actually chose this mic over the over the expensive mic. So uh, this is how I do a shootout, and I hope this helps you to pick out the right mic for your vocalist. I'll see you soon. Bye.